Now I will be guiding you on the process of using ImageJ for data extraction of telcoding. So first, after we open the ImageJ, you need to install the macro. Uh, we install the macro by clicking on plugins, macros, and install. And you need, you need to navigate to where you put the macro. And here is the TC macro v2. We choose this macro uh, as the one that we provide here and we open it and we will have three three macro installed so here we will have, we will have the telco link find pics and close all windows so telco link is uh, it contains all the macro that we need to obtain all the data and find pics will do the find pics using the bar plugin but uh, this is only used if we if you want to do manual editing or some fine adjustments or before uh, in case you haven't uh, do this process before and next is close all windows because we will have lots of windows open after uh, we finish the process so first we open the video this is the sample video it's it has 630 frames and <clears throat> it will be cut into uh, around 610 frames because uh, around I mean around 600 frames because uh, the next around the first 30 frames will have errors so it's okay you just need to give some spare okay just click and it will open the video and then here we can just run the macro by clicking the telco link here or uh, press F2 on your keyboard. So I will press F2 on my keyboard and, and it will convert the video to 8-bit at first. After the video conversion is finished, uh, we just need to select a uh, diameter of uh, from one of all these eggs that we have and here I give a sam an example of uh, uncircular eggs that are not really circular compared to the others and we just select this area one of the diameter and just click OK and then just click OK again <coughs> after that it will process data for filtering until it will export the data to the Excel here it also do the automatic uh, array selection and put it in array manager this is the array manager and this is the result okay that's it for the operation in MSJ and if you want to close all the windows just press F5 and it will also clear the array manager and the results. Now you will have a new uh, file named telcoiling. You can use this file to obtain to continue with the uh, Excel VBI process or just straight to the statistical analysis if you only need the telcoiling uh, occurrence. That's it for the image share explanation. This is the Excel VBA part for the TC macro. In this part, I will tell you how to enable the VBA until you get all the results. So first you need to enable the VBA by clicking on the file. Options, customize ribbon, and tick the developer box. After you tick the box, click on OK. And you will have a new tab here called developer. And you need to open the Visual Basic by clicking this button or uh, by the shortcut Alt F11. After you open it, you will have a new window for the Visual Basic. <coughs> and afterwards, uh, if you want to uh, run the macro, you need to add a new module first. Uh, you add the new module by right-clicking on the sheets or any area here. Insert module. And you have a new empty module. And you just need to copy the macro that we provide uh, into the module the macro copy it and paste it and here you already have the macro 
And next, we have uh, three main macro that we use uh, as provided in the SOP. The first one is the process ITV endure for obtaining the interval and duration. Next is the manual editing for manual editing the data that have errors. And next is the data extraction to uh, get this final summary of the data. So first, uh, I will uh, tell you a little bit for the process at vendor. Uh, the macro will call a, a string called new DA2. This string uh, here, we will have the end threshold and the start threshold. So this is the end threshold. Well, this is well the uh, start threshold is this one. I will add a note here for the end threshold. And threshold, and this is start threshold. So, uh, if you need to change it uh, for processing all the sheets, you just need to change uh, the uh, start threshold and the end threshold here. Yeah, so, in case if you want to change the average, just change it to average, or maybe uh, you will use also you will still use median, but you will uh, do some cal extra calculation like. Mm. times 0 0.98 or 0 0.95 you can modify it here and for the start threshold you can just modify it here like 2 1 or 0 0.5 it depends on your recording setup and the result of your uh, image j so now I will run the process ITV Endure in the top to get the result. After you run it, you see that it will have several new columns called interval and duration in all the sheets. And then you just need to check uh, whether or not it has uh, around the same duration as you see in the uh, video or uh, if the duration makes sense. So here it's around 51. Uh, it should be okay for this one. Next we go to the next one. Next one. And this one has 200 durations, duration, which means uh, because our video is uh, 60 FPS, it has five seconds of tail calling, which is unusual. Uh, the tail calling usually happens around one, 0 0.5 to one second. So this one is a bit unusual. So maybe we, we need to change the end threshold value because this is, duration is too big. So here in the manual editing, I set the end threshold to average to increase the uh, end threshold value. So now I will run it by clicking the run button here or you can press F5. Now it, uh, it makes more sense because the duration is around half a second. And you just need to uh, change it, change the end threshold here, the same as the one in UDI2. But this will only run on the sheets that you are uh, selecting currently. Next, we do the last one. Okay, so if because this has no egg movement, as you can see here, the X1 is empty. So the interval is. Uh, the full length of the video. Uh, therefore, <coughs> uh, it will be emptied in the end. But so you don't need to worry about this one. Next, uh, I will do the data extraction to create the summary. Just click on this area and click on Run or press F5. And now we will have uh, several new tabs, several new sheets. The first one is the interval. The duration, intensity, TC for the tail coiling, uh, when the time when it happened, and last one is the summary. So in the summary, we will have the TC frequency, how much tail coiling happened in the uh, duration of the video. So because the video that we record is around 30 seconds, uh, we time it by two because the TC frequency is at TC per minute, tail coiling per minute. So we time the result by two. So the fish one has two tail coiling, fish two has four, fish three has six, fish four has two, and fish five has none. And the coiling intensity is also 
uh, presented here as the average of uh, all the uh, coiling uh, occurrence. The same for the interval and duration. So if you only have one coiling activity, then uh, because this one is time by two, and therefore uh, there's only one per two seconds, therefore uh, the coil interval will be zero. Uh, it's because there's only one uh, coiling activity. So if you want to be more precise, uh, maybe you should use uh, you should use a one minute video for this. Okay, uh, this is uh, for the Excel VBA tutorial. If you need uh, any help for using this tool, please contact us directly at, uh, through the emails that's provided in the SOP. And I would like to add something else. If you need to change the calculation for the TC frequency because maybe you uh, record the video for one minute or five minutes, you can navigate to the TCCon macro here and here in the posting result per minute. You just need to change the count num because uh, it's 30 seconds and you need to time it, time it by two uh, to get one minute. You just need to change it here. If your uh, if your video is around one minute, then just change it to one. If your video is more than one minute, let's say around 10 minutes, then you can just change it to divide it by 10. Okay. Thank you for listening. And may this still help you.